live in New York City with a live audience. What a great... These... Wow, okay. Wow. What a great crowd. Thank you all for coming. Uh, so glad, and I took the red eye back from the Reagan Library last night, and I'm not even tired hanging out with this group. All right. All right, coming up tonight, Tommy Laren, Tudor Dixon, Jimmy Baylor, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, they're all going to be sitting right here. But first, we have a pathetic new chapter from your President Joe Biden, and it's now unfolding before our eyes. Day one of the House impeachment inquiry into Biden, what I call the Joe Biden bribery and money laundering uh, scandal allegations. It is now in the books. It's officially started. It did not disappoint. Let's start and take a look. Bank records obtained this week showed that on August 2nd, 2019, Jonathan Lee and Ms. Tane Ling in Beijing sent Hunter Biden $250,000 listing Joe Biden's home address in Wilmington, Delaware. The wire stated it was for a personal investment. The Biden family and associates received um, over $20 million from 23 different countries that they had business ties to or communications with. And they also had over 20 um, shell LLCs um, where they would transfer money in and out. This is a text message between Jim Biden and Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden was in a bad way, by the way. He was, he was really strung out. He lost a bunch of money. He needed help. Jim Biden says, this can work. You need a safe harbor. I can work with your father alone. This is a text message between Hunter Biden and Gong Wen Dong, an agent of CEFC. Hunter says, my uncle will be here with his brother, in all caps, who would like to say hello to the chairman. He goes on, Jim's brother, if he's coming, wants to say hello. His uncle's brother. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. I can't quite figure it out. By the way, the mob and the media and all these Democrats, there's no evidence. No, there's a mountain of evidence. Anyway, it would take us hours to play all the evidence presented just today against Joe Biden. There are bank records. There are tax records. We have 170 suspicious activity reports. We've got photographs. We've got text messages. We have WhatsApp messages. I'm sitting next to my father. You will regret between everyone he knows and my ability to hold a grudge not following through. Anyway, we have emails, eyewitness accounts. We have sworn testimony, whistleblower testimony, and at least one damning FBI 1023 form from a highly credible FBI source quoting directly the CEO of Burisma admitting to giving $5 million to one Biden, $5 million to another Biden. That would be called bribery where I grew up. I don't know what you call it where you grow up or a shakedown. Use whatever term you like. But according to Democrats, this is all much ado about nothing. Just a touching story about a father and his love for his son. <laughs> a lot of, lo lot of love with a lot of dollars. Take a look. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I want to say thank you to Mr. Donald Trump for calling this hearing today. As it demonstrates, the House GOP and Donald Trump's continued attacks on our institutions and on our democracy. This entire fake impeachment inquiry isn't about the United States. It's about Hunter Biden. And the only thing the president is, can be guilty of here is being a father. But I will tell you what the president has been guilty of. He has unfortunately been guilty of loving his child unconditionally, and that is the only evidence that they have brought forward. And honestly, I hope and pray that my parents love me half as much as he loves his child. Donald Trump impeachments. Oh, how many impeachments? We got two there. How many indictments? We got four. How many for Biden? Zero, zero. Donald Trump is right. I'm, he's sick of winning. He's just winning, running away with it. And that's why we're here. We're here because of math. Now, despite what you just heard, all of the evidence points to the exact same thing. Hunter Biden selling access to the Biden brand. I don't think the brand was the guy addicted to cocaine and drugs. I don't think it was him. And had no experience in pretty much anything. Uh, Joe Biden, he was the brand. And every indication is Joe lied to the American people as a candidate and as a president repeatedly and regularly, and also that he was an active participant with these foreign business partners that he denied even ever talking about, even meeting with the Russian oligarch and others at Cape Milano. 
And anyway, a participant that results in what? Tens and tens of millions of dollars in the hands of Biden family members and monies used to even enrich Joe Biden himself. We have the emails to prove that. Let's look at one example. According to a 2017 text message from Hunter, the family brand was, quote, the family's only asset. And Hunter was not going to give it away cheap. Now, for years, Hunter purportedly now sold access to the brand in exchange for tens of millions in cash, gifts, diamonds, a sports car to sketchy foreign nationals from China, Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan, Romania, and a number of other countries. Now, the proceeds directly benefited Joe, Hunter, and James Comer says nine family members in total, even grandchildren. I'm sure they worked very, very hard to earn that money in oil, gas, and coal, and other businesses. In fact, new evidence from the House Ways and Means Committee revealed 250 grand uh, wired payments originating in Beijing. They're our number one geopolitical foe, aren't they? Now, that listed Joe Biden's Delaware home as the beneficiary address. Those, these Chinese payments were from 2019, when Joe was running for president. And Hunter, he was out there living in Malibu, uh, wrecking the home he was renting, according to the landlord. The wire transfers were labeled as, quote, personal investment. Well, now it's not every day that the Communist Party of China is wiring a mere quarter million dollars to the home of a U.S. presidential candidate. And I'm not even including the 5.1 after the WhatsApp message uh, that was delivered just days later. Democrats, they aren't concerned. Joe's last name is Biden. It's not Donald Trump. It's not Eric Trump. It's not Donald Trump Jr. It's not Ivanka Trump. So it's just not a big deal for them. Uh, the always petulant congressman and Biden's superfan, this idiot from New York, Dan Goldman, is much more infatuated with his hatred of legal scholar uh, Professor Jonathan Turley. Why is that? Because Professor, Professor Jonathan Turley always exposes Goldman uh, for who he tr truly is, a complete idiot. Look. Mr. Turley, you said in 2019 that impeachment requires a clear criminal act. Is that right? No. In fact, in the Trump impeachment, I said repeatedly, you can, you can impeach someone for non-criminal conduct. What I said then, I'm saying now, which is, I strongly encourage you to look at criminal yeah. acts. All right. Well, that testimony is there. But, but I, let's just... I, no, you can't, because I have 10 seconds left. <laughs> you have said that lying as a, as a president is not impeachable. You have said that there's an influence peddling campaign, but you will acknowledge, will you not, that in order to have a criminal act of public corruption or bribery, there must be under McDonnell an official act in connection to some sort of personal benefit. Isn't that G right? Gentlemen's time's expired, but Mr. Turley, please answer the question. Yeah, I can just point you to my testimony. I talk about quid Just answer the question. Because yeah, it's a little more complex. No, it's not. An official uh, act for a personal benefit. Uh, gentlemen's time's expired. Now, the congressman is known as own goal uh, Goldman around town because he always seems to accidentally be bolstering the claims against the big guy, Joe Biden. Take a look. You testified that he said to, to that Hunter told his dad, according to Rob Walker, quote, I may be trying to start a company or try to do something with these guys. Now, let me ask you something. That doesn't sound much like Joe Biden was involved in whatever Hunter Biden was doing with the CEFC if Hunter Biden is telling him that he's trying to do business with them, does it? No, but it does show that he said he told his father he was trying to do business. And he was okay. talking well, that is true. Hunter Biden does try to do business. That's correct. It was clear that it was as part of the daily conversations that Hunter Biden had with his father. Um, and it was, and, and sounded like most of the time, uh, now President Biden didn't even know who the people he was at dinner. He was just asked to say hello. Uh, and he would, you know, talk about the, the way he described it several times. They asked over and over and over. He described what the weather was, how, uh, how, what's going on on your end. So Joe calls Hunter with his foreign business partners. What did they talk about? The weather. <laughs> Anybody believe that? No. no. Now, no doubt, Dan, who's dumb, they were paying 
Hunter millions to talk to Pops and his business partners from other countries about the weather. Think about how much this story has evolved. First, Biden, his supporters, said Joe never once discussed uh, business with Hunter, his brother, or anybody for that matter. They claimed he then, oh, like we've been saying, he never participated in business deals when they changed the story. And then they said, sure, Biden met with or talked to Hunter's business partners occasionally about the weather, but just in passing. Now, then, of course, they admitted that Joe frequently engaged with Hunter's business partners, even went to dinner with oligarchs. But just because Joe is lo a loving father trying to help his son, Joe never got any of the money. Well, we have emails that counter that message. Here's the message. Sure, Joe Biden's house was listed as the beneficiary address for a massive wire transfer from China while Joe was running for president and Hunter was living in California, but it's not... It's just not a big deal. It's just a wire transfer. It's not like it's physical cash. You'd have to actually go to the bank and cash the money they gave you. And I'm sure they did. Now, of course, in our, you know, hyper-partisan world, Democrats still try almost anything to defend their president. Uh, but what about Biden's so-called independent DOJ? What are they doing? Don't they investigate possible crimes, farm bribery, corruption, influence peddling? And that brings us to yet that... Other email from Hunter Biden, according to the House Ways and Means Committee. And even CNN is in possession of an email where Hunter claims that all of this, his legal stuff is going to go away once that Pops becomes president. You know what? I think Hunter was on to something. If not for a few government whistleblowers and a responsible judge in Delaware, Hunter and Joe, they wouldn't have a care in the world. But the DOJ's work to protect the big guy began well before Joe was even sworn in in 2020. The liberal lawyers of the DOJ, they demanded that investigators scrub all references to Joe Biden during a potential FARA warrant. Notably, Hunter has never been charged with a FARA violation, likely because such a crime would implicate his father. He should talk to Paul Manafort. And while the DOJ acts as the personal legal defense team for the president, the House is actually investigating Biden over many serious allegations. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.